I'm being bought an owl. Not sure which one it is. What? Food, sex and territory. <laughs> generally all that goes through an owl's head. <laughs> oh, that's some big wings. <laughs> Woo! People are going to think this is a fake owl because I Photoshop <laughs> them so often. Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am not in the studio. I'm actually joined with Sadie from Feathers and Furs Falconry and we've got a snowy owl here. This is Gimli. Are you going to say hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to have a lot of fun today. I'm going to introduce you to some beautiful owls as well as fly some which I'm very excited about because I've never flown an owl before. But before that I do want to introduce you to Sadie properly because all of these owls soon have to move home and we would love your help. So there's going to be a GoFundMe linked in the description top line but do you want to explain what's happening with the move and all of the owls and why you need our help. Okie dokie. So um, thank you very much for coming back. Obviously we met you a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, obviously we met beautiful Gimli. And unfortunately, so this year obviously COVID hit everybody, but just as we started to open, just as we had put some investment back into the centre, investment back into the birds, um, our landlord decided they were going to sell our site. And um, the new owners decided that we and none of the other businesses actually fitted with what they wanted. And they just basically went, you've got to leave. Which With uh, how many birds? I've got 23 <laughs> birds. We've been here 11 years and we have started from nothing. So I started with five birds and I've built it all up. And as you can imagine, it's just... A, massively daunting, B, yeah. massively expensive, and and just not what we needed in a very no. awful year of what we've already all been through to suddenly have to move house, move business, and relocate these guys. <laughs> Absolutely. So before we get started with all of the fun, introducing you to the owls, flying the owls, this is me asking my magical online family if you could help Feathers and Furs, even if you just donated one pound, like every little will help. If each of you watching right now donated a pound or even 50p or 50 cents like I think we could hit the target pretty quickly and that would be so amazing these owls are beautiful and I want to see them successfully rehomed with Sadie um so yeah that's what I wanted to ask you guys today uh but let's go have some fun yes, with some owls shall definitely. we <laughs> I'm going to hold so many owls <laughs> so um Dobby is a barn owl. I'm sure Sadie will give you much more information than that. But it's a very cute, floofy looking owl. <laughs> I feel like not many people get a chance to get this close with owls. So no. No, it's very something lucky. definitely magical about it. Isn't yes, it, it's really owls. magical. <laughs> oh, she knows. Ready? Both feet? Seems like there's no food in your hand. Like. <laughs> I mean, that's the same with me. If you've got no food, I'm not interested. <laughs> Down. So pretty. Okay, so then she has this safety clip, so this is going to clip onto your hoop at the bottom. And then she goes between your thumb and your first finger, like this. Uh, now, so just watch this end, because obviously, straight end in here. I have been pooped on by an <laughs> owl before, and it was when we did the photo shoot, yes. oh, and I had to take my Hogwarts robes to a dry cleaners. Oh, and I'd be like, here's no. my Hogwarts robe that an owl pooped on, and they just looked at me really funny, like, is she actually from Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> so if you relax your hand down like this, then Dobby should spin around to face you this way and you can give her smooths. Now owls can't actually see in front of their faces, so they do this sort of nibbling of your fingers. She's not biting you to be aggressive. I remember Gimli did that. Yeah, and actually Harry has it in the film. When he's sitting in the, vest, in the sort of window, he's stroking yeah. Hedwig's chest and she nibbles his fingers. That's all it is. It's trying to look for food and they use these long whiskers around her beak for it. But yeah, no, you can feel. Oh, you're so soft. Hello. Hello. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hurt. Doesn't no, hurt it doesn't hurt at all. It's no. more like a little peck. You're very sweet. So how old is Dobby? Dobby is just a year old now and she's One. fully grown. Yeah, it's as big <gasps> as they get. They go from so tiny. tiny little egg to full grown in just 12 weeks. And I got Dobby at one week old. So she had to sleep in a box next to my bed. Well, like a proper sort of baby owl box with a heat lamp. She lived in the house until she got her wings and then properly 
probably becomes a pain when they're like that flying onto the top of the sofa and onto the top oh. of the wardrobes and all sorts of things which it sounds lovely until we go back to the poop issue again and she's a dark breasted bar now so this is a european bar now other than so we have the beautiful white bar now this is one that you would find if you went across into europe oh my god so so, so pretty so many feathers so small it feels really weird to just be holding an owl because that's not something that you do in day-to-day -day life so it's like <laughs> i have an owl on me uh, <laughs> what I love about owls is how, like everyone just kind of loves an owl, but actually it's the details in them that make them really awesome. So Dobby's whole face is her ear, so that love heart shape is actually the bit her that ear. Looks looks. Like, yeah. It looks like some sort of mushroom. <laughs> and then her ear hole is just on the side of her head, so just in, in front of the ridge. And the sound passes through her face to her ears and it hits the ears at different times so she's able to figure out exactly where on the ground her food is but then to keep her face clean and this is my favorite bit Dobby has just on the inside of this middle talon oh like an edge yeah you see it's got a like a little comb to it yeah it's called a pectinated talon and it oh brushes God. her face oh my god <laughs> a built-in hairbrush a built-in hairbrush on a bar now <laughs> that's so uh, cool just awesome absolutely awesome I love how like smooth and like flawless the feathers look for how deep they are so like yeah she showed me this with Gimli you can lose you can like a finger in now like <laughs> you think they're that big but they're actually quite small tiny, underneath all tiny, the feathers tiny underneath. yeah it's like <laughs> where's my finger gone I would love to get inside an owl's brain like they're constantly like having a look around mostly just three things go through their poor little minds food territory and the s word <laughs> s word Two younger audiences. You can, hey, no, we've got an older audience. Here. Food, sex, and territory. It's generally, all that goes through an owl's head. Well, I feel as though I'm not holding you right. So it's my... very easy to roll your fingers, to to roll your hands, to Ooh, kind of wings. go with where she's going. Shall we pop her, pop yeah. her back? This is one of my favourite owls, though. The long-eared owl, Amos. Is Amos named after Amos Diggory? She's or? named after a little boy that I met at a school we went to. And he was just such a sweet boy and I just fell in love with his name as well and it just it just all felt really lovely yeah. and I, I, I didn't even have an owl at that point I just knew I was always going to name someone Amos Aww. and when we got the long eared it just felt like such a lovely name unfortunately Amos is a girl um, but when you buy them you don't know that so uh, you get them as a shocked. baby <laughs> yeah she's got that con she's like, and then like what's that Ooh. that's my owl impression in case you didn't know <laughs> I'm just living my best magical life today. Give me an owl and I'm happy. <laughs> oh, that's a cute noise. Oh, hello. Oh, look at those little ears. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Would you like to have a hold of Amos? No, Amos, it isn't quite as steady as Dobby. Oh, likes to have a flap. <laughs> You're used to that, I can tell. Quite finished. Having a flap, good girl, well done. Oh wow, you look so shocked. It's a beautiful <laughs> face. It's funny the, the different characters. So barns are often very chilled out like, and laid Ooh. back. Other birds like long ears are a bit like, ooh, it's a bit nervous. Ooh, yeah, the leaf moved. <laughs> they just look constantly surprised. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are absolutely beautiful. They look like little oranges or pumpkins. Pumpkins, yeah. Yeah, yeah little girl yesterday described them as pumpkin orange. Pumpkin <laughs> orange eyes, appropriate for this month. And so this is another owl that we have here in You're going to flap in my face, <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> but it's a very shy owl, so shy not owl. many people get to see these guys up close. They're, they're quite often in the woodlands and away, tucked away, very quiet. Also, I feel quite honoured to be holding mm. one. <laughs> it's lovely to see them up close, they're such, such beautiful colourations. Oh, your head's just <laughs> rotating, it's kind of weird, because we can't do that. <laughs> You're very pretty. So you were saying that these aren't ears. They look like them. They look like ears and they have no hearing connection whatsoever. They're actually eyebrows. So they give emotion. Eyebrows. So we can tell straight away that Amos is a little bit like, oh, something different. Oh, this has happened because she's got her tufts down. When she starts to chill out and relax up, the tufts come up. I could do with some tufts <laughs> to tell, like, tell people what mood I'm in. <laughs> well, they're commonly known as ear tufts, but their proper name is plumicorns. Plumicorns. That's amazing. You've got cute plumicorns. <laughs> well, she liked that. So is it true that owls can fully rotate their heads? No, they can go just over halfway, but 
weirdly every bird in the world can do it. So when you watch oh, ducks sleeping okay. and pigeons, they can all turn their head to face their bottom, just like that. Because okay, they, so most people think it's just owls. It's just a big, but that's because they've got forward-facing faces, whereas something like a pigeon has eyes on the side of its head. Right. So, but, so forward-facing <laughs> eyes looks more dramatic when you twist your whole head. So you're a female as well, aren't yes. you? Yes. So nice. You can always tell the gals if you're not sure. So some owls, like the barn owl, have different spots on their chest and the snowy owl, the girls are much darker. With Amos, the size, girls are always bigger. Oh, so how small are the males? Uh, by about a third smaller. So oh, they must be so cute. Amos weighs in at 11 ounces and the boys weigh in at around nine ounces. So. Cute little face feathers again. Oh, you're having a nice little flap again. Oh, we landed this time. I'm an owl professional, she says. Come back. <laughs> Amos like, no, I'm just up. I'm being bought an owl. Not sure which one it is. Or what? It's so small. <laughs> oh my goodness. Would you like to have a hop? Yes, please. He, oh, wait, he weighs less than your mobile phone. Oh, it's so, it's so small. I can't. I can't, my heart wants to look at the tiny owl. <laughs> so is this full size? This is it, yeah. This is an owl that we have in the UK as well, but so very different to the barn owl. So no facial dish. So this guy is all about looking and relies really heavily on insects as part of his diet. <gasps> and they're unusual in the fact that they are a daytime owl. So they're quite a often out during owl. the day. Yeah. You're so cute. I want to take him home. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cope with small, like, they're, animals. They're very, very noisy though. For such a tiny animal, he makes an enormous little kind of, not a hoot, it's more of a Squeak. wow, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the smallest owl in the world either. There are smaller owls. How do you get smaller? <laughs> oh my God, you, you're so cute. Tiny owl. <laughs> this is the video. Just look at the tiny owl. Tiny owl. <laughs> you're, oh, you're looking at me with your big eyes. Hello. <laughs> it's very intimidating for such a small owl, <laughs> just like... Oh, is she... Cl <gasps> Fun. So they can do that because they have 14 bones in their neck rather than seven like us. And it means that when he's hunting, <laughs> he never has to take his eyes. Off the, That's uh... the coolest thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, you can do things that he can't. Sorry, can't I'm just making your owl dance. No? <laughs> he can't move his eyeballs. You're... Wow, like you can rotate him, but his head just stays. Owl selfie. <laughs> no, Alfie. Alfie. <gasps> yes. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I will steal Pip <laughs> if you don't take him. <laughs> Come on up to the flying field then. Okay. So I haven't told more it yet, like, we're flying the owls, which is a very special thing to do. Uh, I'm very excited. I've never flown an owl before. So this is Bert. Bert. <laughs> oh, you did it for the snacks. Good job. <laughs> and this is a British bar now. So um, obviously we met Dobby, who was dark breasted from Europe. These guys are the ones that we would find right here in the UK. So flying out across fields. This is a, an open space owl. Big wings, big slow flight, beautiful, ghostly up in the air. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> nearly landed on the camera, camera <laughs> anchor. Like, There's no food on the camera. <laughs> But Food? I've got oh, snacks. God. Yeah, he knows where the good snacks are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful. This is so cool. Just flying an owl. <laughs> oh, but he spotted the heron. Uh. <laughs> so to him, now he's gone home. He's like, the heron was scary. I'll go fetch yeah. him. Herons are. Um, so what? Here we go. Here, what makes a heron not a bird of prey? Because if a heron eats fish and an osprey eats fish, why is the heron not a bird of prey? I don't know. Because <laughs> it catches food with its beak, not with its feet. Oh, not with its feet. While Sadie goes to get Bert back, um, I definitely recommend um, a flying experience day uh, at Feathers and Furs. And so it's just so cool. It's like an experience that you just don't, don't, don't get very often. And it just makes me happy. Um, it's, it's just really cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Good. There's Bert. Did you see the heron? Was he scary? So, barn owls are traditionally known as barn owl, obviously, because they have to fly inside, they have to be inside something. In order to fly so quietly, because his hearing is so good, he can hear your heart beating oh, wow. in your chest. So he has to fly so quietly 
and he does it by taking the oils off of his feathers. So he's not waterproof at all, he can't fly in the rain. Bert, ready? Snack! Yeah. He coming trying to do that. <laughs> oh, yummy! He's so beautiful. You're very handsome. Very alert out here. It's like, ooh. But, so you have to remember, so he can hear your heart beating. So he's listening to all the noises that are around. So as he rotates his head, that's him listening to everything. His head has to be in the direction he wants the sound to come from. Because his ears are around his face. Because his ear is his face, yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. Right, ready? <laughs> so Sometimes. would you like to introduce this yeah, very handsome owl. boy so this is norman and he's a male european eagle owl and these guys are one of the kind of more commonly kept owls um and unfortunately they've caused a little bit of an environmental conundrum okay <laughs> so we have european eagle owls living wild now in the uk oh wow well, you you don't belong here <laughs> well that's the thing they might have oh okay bet, like, back in the time it it is considered that they were a British species but were hunted to extinction because this is an apex predator. These guys eat other predators. Oh, okay. So they eat hawks, they eat, eat buzzards. Um, but after, unfortunately, things like Harry Potter came out, as we know from 101 Dalmatians and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, everybody Everyone wants, the pets from wants the to keep a pet. Yeah, and lots of people went out and bought themselves owls. But this is a powerful bird and not a good pet. His feet, as a male, he's, um, he's relatively small. He weighs in at four pounds. A female in about six pounds and they can hunt deer as part of wow. their diet <laughs> so if you're sort of out buying oh my child wants an owl from from a program it just it's not a good pet no. so what they believe is all the ones that are here now in the uk are ones where people have gone i don't want this owl anymore i'm going to just let, let it, it go. go yeah so it's a it's a bit of a challenge we don't know whether they're allowed to be here or not but I think it fits perfectly into our environment. Look at the size, it's so beautiful. He's so big, I love his feet. They're, love. They're... He's, he's very ticklish, look, when you touch him, he shouts. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tickle my feet! I'm a bit like that too. <laughs> I understand, Norman. And he has the big, um, something, what, what's it? Plumicorns. 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 He's got very big plumicorns. Yes, tell us how he's feeling. Is he happy? He's very happy now. So Norman has all good reasons to be happy. So Norman is one of our rescue owls. We don't have many rescue birds um, because they often come with sort of emotional baggage and issues. But Norman is one of the ones that we are so pleased to have gotten. So he was bought by somebody that wanted a pet owl and they put him in the same cage that Harry Potter carries Hedwig in. Oh. And he put him in there as a baby and then Norman actually grew up. In 12 weeks they go from too an big, egg to this. Too big in the cage. Too big in the cage, but actually so big he grew into, his wing was part of the wire of the cage. And he had to, he had to have surgery on his wing to remove the wire. Oh bless, is his wing His wing, feel good his now? wing is fine now. Which Six I'm sure we'll on. see when yes, we fly him. as soon as we can go out <laughs> on the field we are going to put him up in the air for you. Oh. Now he's on a piece of string just because he's still very nervous about everything. So he's really only started flying since Christmas and then obviously we had the COVID lockdown yeah but um it is getting better and he's very very sort of brave when he wants to be <laughs> <laughs> he's got pumpkin eyes as well <laughs> so there's actually a very loose rule of thumb that tells you the color of their eyes as the time of day that they hunt so Hedwig has bright yellow eyes and snowy owls are diurnal so a daytime flying oh, okay. owl the barn owls have got really really dark brown eyes they look black but they're really really dark brown and they're nocturnal and then orange-eyed owls are a fabulous word. It's called being crepuscular. <laughs> and crepuscular means you hunt at dusk and dawn. Oh, it's like, I love that they've colour-coded the owls yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> to a point though, so we met Amos earlier, the yeah. long-eared. They're totally nocturnal, even though they have orange eyes. <laughs> oh, well, he's so nice. I love his little floofs around his eyes. They kind of look like spider web yeah. a little bit. And the fact that he looks, so his nose is so wide that it looks like he's cross-eyed. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> he looks a little bit like, hmm. <laughs> He's very posh, very handsome. And he knows it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite sure what your tufty bits are down for though. You were happy a minute ago. Because like, you tickled his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Norman, ready? Oh, that's some big wings. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sounds underneath your foot. You're stepping on your snack, mate. Who oh, is a lot heavier. <laughs> You're a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. He's so Ooh. big. 
So what's the biggest owl? So this is the largest owl in the world, the European okay. eagle. But remember, I was going to say there couldn't be one bigger than Norman. <laughs> there are a few that are very similar. So even the great grey, so Errol from Harry Potter, physically it's as big, but weight-wise they're tiny because they're, those guys have got that facial dish again, like we talked yeah. about with the now. All about sound and listening for the great grey. Norman's definitely chunky. Ooh, you big lump. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cool, I was just holding this giant owl. <laughs> oh, This is a Draco Malfoy owl. Oh, he, doesn't he? He has a Slytherin an owl. He has an owl, an eagle owl, deliver his uh, sweets, doesn't oh. he? That's the only real proper facts I know about <laughs> animals in Harry Potter, though, is because I have to learn about the owls. <laughs> that's going to hold for us to meet Gimli. Gimli I hope so, because Gimli is the best owl. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, sorry, you're the best owl. <laughs> <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> Make a suggestion, you're not handsome. Okay, so this is Gimli. Um, I've met Gimli before. We did a wonderful Harry Potter photo shoot together and he had his wings out. Very, very handsome owl. Uh, he was six months old then. He's, he's a lot bigger now. Look, he's smiling. <laughs> um, but this is a snowy owl, uh, the one that you would have seen in Harry Potter that... This isn't Hedwig, but it's the same breed of owl. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about Gimli? Of course I can. So Gimli is uh, two years old now, and we've had him at the centre since he was about three weeks old. And as you're perfectly right in the fact that he's getting whiter. So male snowy owls get whiter all the way up till they're about four years old. And so I think when you met him, he was very strongly yeah. barred across <laughs> the chest. Um, these guys, they deal with extreme temperatures. So our favourite thing about Gimli at the moment is these feet. Oh. Um, and it just, oh, they're just so fluffy. <laughs> um, and things like, it's quite warm today for us. So he's a little bit hot. He's sort of come out of his aviary. He's got very That's excited. That's why he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's, he's, he's just keeping himself cool. Now, panting just like a dog would do. Yeah. He's very beautiful. You look very happy today. We can stroke Gimli, can't we? Yes. Yes, I remember touching Gimli last time. And he has the same deep feathers. Oh, there he goes. He's just showing off. <laughs> he says, I'm going to jump around. Get a very small... Oh, yes. <laughs> he's a lot quieter than he was when I first met him. He was quite young then. He was oh, doing yeah. a lot of screeching. Yeah, yeah. He's quietened right down now. So, which is good because he was quite chatty. You have lovely fluffy feet. Does he get annoyed if you touch his feet? No. no. <gasps> you can touch the fluffy feet. Oh, yes. <laughs> we love fluffy owl feet. They're very, very nice. Oh. Just I've been so hot. excited to come back to see Gimli. Um, very, very cool. So we get, do we get to fly Gimli yeah, today? Yeah, so um, Gimli's actually had the summer off and we have just started bringing him back into work. Now so that the weather's cooler. Now the weather's a little bit cooler, which is why he's still a little bit jumpy. So it takes them, it's a bit like children going back to school. Yeah. It takes them a little while to their brains to get back involved in the game. Going back um, to flying lessons. Yeah, but you really <laughs> do yeah. have to do that. You have to go through that. <laughs> Am I boring you? He's like, ah. you That is your name. Oh, <laughs> cool. I'm excited to fly him. Should we go fly him? Yeah. It's all right. We go in. We're going towards it. Wait for a second. Wait for a second. Okay, go on in. Because <laughs> I believe this, this is where I needed to stand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let him car. Let's let him catch his breath a little bit and cool down so you don't have photos of just like, ah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> don't sound like a real owl. What's this? There. I got snacks. <laughs> What's this snack? <laughs> <laughs> What's your funny noises for? Do you want it? People are going to think this is a fake owl because I photoshopped <laughs> them so often. Kim! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, Pigeon! Pigeons! <laughs> <laughs>
he might fly off. Do you want to go over there? Get ready. Get ready, go on. Go. No. <laughs> you lazy owl. <laughs> Never known such a lazy owl. <laughs> I delivered all the posts. Not Can he smell anymore. it? Can no. owl smell? No sense of smell whatsoever. He can't even see, so he can't see. So if I got a piece of chicken like this, he can't see the chicken. Or smell it's, the chicken. Or smell the chicken, it's out of his focus, but if he touches his whiskers, oh. he knows that that's edible. <laughs> He's like, it's mine. <laughs> but I don't, I don't really want it. <laughs> You're gonna turn around again, aren't you? <laughs> but, what is it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think he looks so funny. He's got all these bits you of feathers do have all little kind of sticking out. I'm not quite sure where they've come from. He looks a bit spiked. <laughs> You're so smart with your fluffy feet. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to have to come visit you in your new home with all of your, oh. your birdie friends. We can't wait. The site's really, we were there this morning dropping off woods. You know, it's just amazing. It's so going to be amazing. You're looking forward to it once you've uh, managed to get all your dust It's just in hugely logistic because lots of people are like, well, can't you just kind of move everything? And we're like, well, yeah, but you have to build some aviaries move some owls into aviaries, take, because we're trying to take as much as we can. So yeah. we just, you know, like we had some savings, but we spent them in the COVID lockdown. Um, and now, so you have to build an aviary, move those owls to that aviary, take down the aviary that the owls and the birds were in, go and put that aviary yeah. back up, move another set of birds into that aviary, fridge some birds around. it must be around. quite stressful moving all of the owls yeah, and all of yeah. the other birds. And just knowing that they're all right. You know, for me, it's about them. Yeah. I can deal with living anywhere, but they don't want any stress and it's a new location. And moving owls is stressful when you know what you're doing, let alone having, you know, just plumped up one day and having to move to another site even learning to fly in a new site mm. is going to be scary well, hopefully we'll see them all safely moved um yes. with everyone's help <laughs> oh hello <laughs> hello <laughs> floofs <laughs> he's like stop touching me now 